Hey guys, what's up? How you doing? I am Frank James Bailey and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to give you another cartoon review. And today's cartoon review is about American Dad. Hold the phone one second before I get the video started. Before I start the intro, I want to remind you to subscribe to my channel. All you have to do is hit that subscribe button and then make sure and click the notification bell. You'll be notified whenever I post a brand new video. And now here's my intro. All right, let's get started with my cartoon review of American Dad. American Dad is an American animated television series produced by Underdog Productions and Fuzzy Door Productions for 20th Century Fox. It was created in part by Seth MacFarlane, the creator of Family Guy, who wanted to recreate the dynamic of the 70s sitcom All in the Family in a cartoon version of a conservative father and a liberal daughter. The pilot episode aired in the United States on Fox on February 6th, 2005, 30 minutes after the end of Super Bowl 34. The regular series began on May 1st, 2005, after the series premiere of Family Guy. The show has been on for 16 seasons. The first 12 of those seasons on Fox. When they cancel it, it moved to TBS. The show generally centers around the Smith family and the various obstacles of Stan, the father of the family. He's a CIA employee, and he wants to ensure the safety of his country and his family. The Smith family lives in a fictional U.S. community called Langley Falls, Virginia. Other characters are Stan's wife, Francine, his daughter, Haley, very liberal, very 60s, you know, outgoing kind of girl, Steve, the teenage son who has his you know, <laughs> going through puberty type of problems. Klaus the fish, who is actually has the brain of a, you know, skier or something. And we can't forget about Roger. He's like one of the main characters. He's also uh, hidden inside their home. Seth MacFarlane voices both Stan and Roger. All right, now that you know the gist of the show, let me tell you my opinion about American Dad. The good and the bad. All right, some of the good things I like about this. It's very colorful. It's very unique. Even though this is sort of a cartoon version of the 70s sitcom All in the Family, they didn't have an alien or a talking fish. So in that retrospect, I will give American Dad an A for creativity. That's that's for sure. Some of the bad things about American Dad? Well, if you watch some of the earlier episodes, some of the jokes, well, they're very dated. In case you didn't know, it takes them nine or ten months to actually create the whole episode. So when they think they have a pretty good joke, they better hope it works and sticks nine, ten months later. Some of them did not. The other bad thing is, it is a cartoon, so the characters don't change that much. However, they did change a little bit when they went from uh, Fox to TBS, because now that they're on cable, they can show a little more skin. Haley actually wears a bikini when she goes in the pool now. If Francine is wearing some short shorts, well, they can actually make them a little bit shorter. If they're going to show cleavage, well, on TBS, a cable network, they can actually show a little more cleavage than they did on Fox. Keep in mind, this is not Rick and Morty, so they're not going to try and get away with blood and guts and all kinds of stuff like that, but now that the show's been airing on TBS, they can push the envelope just a little bit more to see what they can get away with. Finally, in case you didn't know, and I'm sure you do, this is a very adult-oriented show. It has a weird sense of humor, but if you're into that kind of adult jokes, then you might like American Dad. And to be honest, the show has been on for 16 seasons, so I'm sure you've seen at least one episode, if not more. I've watched probably the first four or five, maybe six seasons. I stopped watching it after um, uh, Haley's boyfriend went into space. And I kind of lost interest, but I'm kind of getting back into it now. So I'm going to start watching some of the newer episodes. Hopefully they'll be on Netflix or something. Because <laughs> it's just something to check out, you know? Anyway, we've reached that part of the video now where I give you my score of American Dad. On a scale of 1 to 10, 1 being the worst, 10 being the best, I give American Dad a 7. Even though it is a more adult-oriented cartoon, I applaud it for its longevity. The show has been on for 16 seasons. When a show has been on for that long, they have to be doing something right. It's a fun, creative show, but it is an adult show, so I wouldn't let your kids watch it. Anyway, that's all for this video. Have you seen American Dad? I'm sure you probably have, because it has been on for 16 seasons. If you have seen some episodes of American Dad, please leave your comments in the comment section below the video, and let me know what you think of American Dad. Who is your favorite? character on American Dad. If you like this video, I'd really appreciate it if you give me a big thumbs up. And finally, I leave you with this word of advice. Cartoons are not just for kids. 
as in the example of American Dad, which is mainly made for adults. <laughs> anyway, a good cartoon with good storylines, good animation, and good characters can entertain kids and adults. Well, in this case, just adults. <laughs> hey, thanks a lot for watching. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.